This is Ember, Emmy for short. Her family couldn't take care of her anymore, so our plan is to train her up and then rehome her to a new loving home. And we're gonna start our first little session together. Now I got some food on me and I'm gonna work on hand feeding her just so she knows food is an activity between me and her. And this is also gonna boost the value of food and the value of me for when we train her out in public. The only word I'm gonna worry about right now is teaching her good, which means I'm gonna hand you food. Good. Good. So Ember is five months old. And luckily for me, she's crate trained and potty trained already, so we can go straight into all this stuff. Good. And I'm just paying for her looking at me, so any eye contact, I'm gonna say that reward word and I'm just gonna give her some food. Good. So we don't want that because that's going to be bad habits for later, so I'm just going to pull her off. Good. We're just hanging out, but I'm paying her for any time that she's being good. I should have said well behaved, because if I say that word, I should pay her. So that's what I'm doing. So far, she's also been really good in the crate. She's been pretty quiet, except for when we bring other dogs out. So no complaints there. She's not used to seeing dogs go in and out, but I'm sure if she was by herself, she'd be very quiet too. No potty accidents yet, and she's been fine potting outside on our turf in the backyard. And if you're wondering what this is doing, this is just to show the dog that if they pay attention to you that they're going to get rewarded. Because later on you're going to find out that if you have a new dog they get distracted by everything. But that's why we're making sure they rehearse a good habit in low distractions first. And then later on when we bring them out in public it'll be more challenging. But it's easier for them to understand because they're used to that routine already. Good. And you see how I'm not really talking to her either? The only thing I'm telling her is good because I want all my words to be meaningful. If you talk to your dog way too much, then all that verbiage is going to be watered down and it's not going to be as effective for when you need it. So that's why even when she's jumping on me, because I haven't taught her like any no word or anything yet, I didn't use it. I, all I did was pull her off or walk into her.